Hello, people. Good evening. Good Hello. evening, teacher. <laughs> it's good to see you guys. Well, in Ada, what happened to you, in Ada? <laughs> she has problems with the camera. Good evening. Like she has a party in her house. <laughs> Just kidding. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jennifer. Well, guys, how was your day? Thanks, God. It's Friday. It was good. <laughs> Did you get paid today? Voy manejando, tío. Okay, Jennifer. Did you get paid today or not yet? No money yet. No, no. <laughs> okay, tomorrow or Monday? No money today. Till Monday. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, um, let me share with you the class presentation. Okay, so you can see the topic of this class. If this is the class number six, the topic is simple present review and um, and comparative adjectives. Okay, and this is class number six. The lesson objective, by the end of the lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. We have four activities, recalling previous knowledge, simple present review, a conversation time and wrap. Okay, but before we start with the first activity, I have to take the attendance. So when you hear your name, please say present or here and please turn on your camera. It's important to turn on the camera, especially when we, uh, when I mention your name, when I take the attendance. Okay, so I'm going to start. Give me a moment. Okay, here. The list is here. Um, is Alejandro Jovel Cartagena in the class? Alejandro Jovel? No? Okay, Ana Elizabeth Garcia? Ana Elizabeth Garcia? Andrea Sánchez? Ana Elizabeth. Yes. Okay, thank you, Ana. Andrea Sánchez. Betania López. Braulio Heriberto Velázquez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Braulio. Carlos Martínez. Claudia Maria Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Claudia Yesenia Evora. Christopher Peña. Damaris Castellanos. I'm here. Thank you, Damaris. Denis Gutierrez. Doribel Arriaza. Elisa Andoval, Emmanuel Hernández, Eneida Verónica Ramírez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Eneida. Eric Daniel Herrera. Present. Thank you, Eric. Fernando Mendoza. Present. Thank you, Irma Adriana Segura. I think you have problems. Irma Suleima Grande. Thank you, Irma. Jacqueline Cermeño. Present teacher. Thank you. Janet Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you, Janet. Jennifer Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. Jessica Susana Manchang. 
Jimmy Ramos. Okay, thank you for connecting on time, people. This is part of your responsibility, right? To attend all the classes. Well, teacher present, Doribel Areli, teacher. Thank you, Doribel. Okay, in this moment. Doribel Areli Arriaza. Yes. Okay. Somebody else? No? That's it? Thank you. Okay, so let's start with the first activity. In this activity, we are going to review the use of the simple present. So, uh, we need a notebook and a pencil or a pen. Do you have a notebook? Notebook, pencil, pen. Do you have a notebook? Notebook, cuaderno, notebook. Or a blank yes, page. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, nice. And a blank page, una página blanco. Okay, for this activity, we it's called head drawing. Head. Head drawing. So you're going to put your notebook on your head. Put your notebook on your head. Yes, Braulio, that's right. You put your notebook on your head. I want to see, excellent, Fernando. Very nice. Very nice, Claudia, Jacqueline, Irma. You put your notebook on your head. And with your pen or with your pencil, you are going to draw. First, you're going to draw a big circle. But don't see, no vean. Put your notebook on your head. Van a dibujar sobre la cabeza, okay? On your head. Draw a big circle. Draw eyes in the circle, two eyes or three eyes, I don't know, <laughs> two eyes. Draw Sin hair, teacher. sorry? Sin ver. Yes, don't see, don't see, okay. Todo deforme va a quedar. That's the idea, that's the idea. <laughs> okay, draw the hair, the hair can be long, short, curly, or straight, you choose the hair. Uh, draw a mouth, lips and a mouth. Draw a nose, it could be a small or big nose. And draw ears, draw ears. Small ears or big ears. Excellent. Okay, are you ready? At the count of three, yes, you will see really. your notebook. You will show your notebook at the count of three. Show it. Show your notebook. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, Braulio. <laughs> That's nice, Braulio. <laughs> wow, Jacqueline, what is that? <laughs> Claudia Maria. <laughs> Claudia Maria. Fernando, let me show yours. Let me show yours. Show me yours. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> it, okay. it, it, was, it was ugly. It was ugly. Okay. You know what? That is your friend. You just drew your friend. And you will have a amigo. You just drew your friend. So what are you going to do now? Well, you are going to talk to a partner and you're going to introduce your friend. You're going to say, hey, Irma, this is my friend. Her name is Catalina. She lives in Spain. Her birthday is in April. She is 46 
years old. She is a receptionist. Uh, she likes eating mangoes. And her favorite music is rock. Okay, just an example. Just an example. So I will send you to room, to break up rooms, and you are going to practice with a partner, giving information about uh, your friend or your picture. Show your picture or show your drawing. Okay? Please. No le entiendo. <laughs> ¿Qué me dijo? Uh, are you ready? Estamos hey, listos. Re I really. Really. Okay. His her name is. Uh, my name. Uh, ¿Qué vamos a hacer? <laughs> Creo que íbamos a conocernos, ¿verdad? Como lo, o íbamos a poner el nombre de los, nuestros amigos. Eso lo entendí. Ok. O me pregunta usted y, y así, con nuestros nombres. Sí. Eh, ¿Quién más está con nosotros acá? ¿O somos cinco? Yo ahí. Ok, Eric, Eric, Eli, Claudia, uh -huh. usted es Claudia, usted es Claudia, ¿verdad? Claudia, sí. Ok, Claudia, ok. Guys. ¿Pueden compartir a alguien la, 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 la foto de la... Ah, oh, ahí está la teacher. Yeah, Hi, teacher. This is what you're going to do. Show the picture. Show the picture of your friend. El dibujo que hicieron. Ok. Ah. Show it. Lo borré. Lo borré, teacher. Ajá. Ay, Dios mío, Fernando. ¿Por qué la borró? Bueno, no, pues, creo que no. This is my friend. This is my friend. His name is Pepito. He lives in Rosa. Oh. His birthday is in May. He is uh, 26 years old. He is an engineer or he is um, a clown. Okay. And you continue talking. You invent the information about your friend. Okay. Her, okay. her, is, her is she. Exactly. Is this... Her is for she and his is for he. All right. Let, All right. Come on. Está borrado, pero igual está aquí. Usted me dice, what is your birthday? Siga, siga, siga. Ya me trabé, que como voy, no voy tan pendiente, pero voy manejada, pero bueno. Eh, dijimos... Vaya. Vaya. Eh, y usted me va a decir, what is your birthday, Alejandro? What is your birthday, Alejandro? Uh, his birthday is uh, 26, December 26. Uh, I'm, sorry to I'm sorry to interrupt, guys, but this is what you're going to eh. Dibujo que hicieron, lo van a ocupar en esta actividad. ¿Sí? ¿Se hicieron el dibujo? Yes. Yo voy en el segundo ticket, no, no puedo. Ok, Damaris y Alejandro. No, solo está Alejandro y Jennifer. Solo nosotros dos estamos, teacher. Y está no. Damaris también, Isabel. Ah, sí. ¿dónde está? Quiero Aquí ver. No. And she has the camera on. No, está, está confiscada la cámara ahorita. 
No, ella la tiene encendida. Ustedes la tienen apagada. Eh, bueno, aquí solo me parece Alejandro en una. Hable, no, aquí está también Jennifer. Es que Jennifer va manejando. Jennifer va manejando en el, en el carro, por eso es que le cuesta un poquito a ella. Estamos, a pre, estamos en, descifrando ahí la, el jeroglífico de la ticha. Ok, so what you're going to do is that you're going to use the, the picture or the drawing, el dibujo que hicieron en la actividad, y van a decir, este es mi amigo, this is my friend, y va a hablar de ese amigo. ¿Ok? Inventando okay. la información. Mm. ¿Ok? Damaris, she has the mm -hmm. ¿Qué os haría empezar, Damaris? Ok. Uh, Alejandro. Vale. Ya, ya. Hola, dígame. ¿Me, escu me escuchas uh, bien, verdad? Sí. Vale. Dale, friend. Damaris. This is my friend. Mm. Uh, my friend is her name is um David. Uh, he's uh. living in San Salvador. He uh, his birthday is um September thirty. Mm -hmm. She's years Dale. old. His name, his name is Braulio. Oh, very good. <laughs> uh, um, he, uh, my emperor. His name is Braulio. Um, ay, ¿qué más puedo poner? ¿De dónde vive? He, he, he lives. He lives. He lives. He lives. It's Perdón. funny. It's funny. Uh -huh. um, um, hijo de puchica. <laughs> I know. Um, vamos a ver his name. Um, he's smelling like um, a skinny. Okay, he lives in El Vive. Eh, quiero decir, si sí, quiero decir que él es piel clara. He has white skin. He has, okay. Um, he has white skin. Mm -hmm. mm, he is a good person. Okay. Um, mm, sigo. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> Y ya siguió, ya siguió esta estructura. Ah, ya siguió esta, este orden. His name is, he lives. Ya in, le dije, ajá, que his, his name birthday is, is, his birthday is. Ah, uh, his good friend. Sí, aquí, dónde vive, cuántos años tiene, cuándo es su cumpleaños, de qué trabaja. How do you live, Braulio? Where do you live? Where? In San Salvador. Um, eh, um, his birthday day is? Sería entonces he lives in San Salvador. Perdón. Diría he lives in San Salvador. He is in San Salvador. No, he lives. He, he lives. Live. 
Ajá, en San Salvador. Well, he live, él vive en San Salvador. He live in San Salvador. Um, eh, um, he better is. Ajá, y quiere decir su cumpleaños es. Your... Así es. Your birthday is. Doribel, usted podía haber inventado esta información para que no le cueste <ríe> por el tiempo. Um, vaya, entonces. Um, how are. Uh, es que no, no, are, sé, no es porque usted le va a preguntar, sino que usted va a presentar un amigo. Usted le va a presentar un amigo a Braulio y a Irma. Es que fíjate que mi auricular está bien suave, teacher, casi no le escucho. Eh, vamos a ver. Si quiere la ayuda de la compañera. Vaya, Braulio, déle usted para que vea el ejemplo de ella. Vaya. His name is Ezequiel. He lives life or live. Live. Siempre me confundo. Live. He lives in Nueva York City. New York. He, New York City. New York City. Sorry, teacher. His birthday is 19 August. August 19. Uh, in August 19. Ah, okay. On August, August 19. August 19. He is uh, 40 years old. Yeah. Uh, he is a builder. Albañil? A builder. Yes, a construction worker or builder. Okay. Um, He, he is, his, uh, his favorite music is cumbia. No sé cómo se dice en inglés cumbia. Yeah, cumbia, cumbia. Ah, normal. Hey, Braulio, and can we see your friend? Can we see your friend? We want to meet your friend. We want to see your friend. ¿Podemos mm. ver a su amigo al que dibujó? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Sorry. <laughs> okay, that is Ezekiel. <laughs> nice to meet you, Ezekiel. <laughs> okay, thank you, guys. We are going to go back to the main session. Okay, so did you like the activity? How was it? ¿Cómo estuvo? How was the activity? Teacher, en el primero que me entré no pude, no pude porque ninguno me contestaba. Entonces me uní a San el 5. Okay, it's okay. Okay. Okay, I would like... Um, Uh, someone to share with the class. Is there someone who would like to share to introduce and present his or her friend? Volunteer. Any volunteer? Only one. Or victim. Okay, Fernando, go ahead. Fernando. Iba a decir otra cosa, pero bueno, vamos a ver. A ver si, a ver si, encuentro, si encuentro este. La, la, la. ¿No puede compartir la? Oh, yes, of course. Please. Usted busca la foto de su amiga o de su amigo. It's, 
It's here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This this is my friend. Her name is I don't remember. <gasps> it's your friend and you don't remember the name? Me inventé el nombre. Her name is Maria. She lives in Isalco. Mm -hmm. Her birthday is 11 January. On January 11th. Oh my God. January 11th. Okay. On January 11th. Okay. She is 25 years old. She is a secretary. She is, she is a, my favorite friend. Okay. Teacher, cuando lleva año. Her favorite fruit is apple. Okay, her favorite fruit is apple. <laughs> Thank you, Fernando. Okay. Congratulations. Good job. Okay, who had a question? Es que eso estábamos deduciendo que si iba primero el mes y después el día. Pero no. me, fui, uh -huh. me fui hasta en Google y ahí decía que era primero el día que estaba establecido, primero el día, después el mes, pero quizás es cuando va con año, ¿verdad? Que va así. Mm, it depends because I, today is Friday, January 27th. I mentioned the day first. Primero digo el día, Friday, January 27. Pero para dar una fecha así como el cumpleaños, lo, iría antes si dijera, por ejemplo, my birthday is the 17th of February. The 17th of February. But it's like easier to say it's on February 17th. Thanks, teacher. Sí, nosotros tuvimos, tuvimos, tuvimos esa discusión con, con, con ella. Quiero ver cómo se llama ella, se me olvidó. Claudia. Claudia. Oh. Ajá, porque, porque dos, dos compañeros, éramos cuatro, dos dijimos primero la, primero la fecha y luego el mes, y los otros dos primero el mes y luego la fecha. Entonces, uh -huh. nos, nos quisimos poner de acuerdo, pero creímos que era primero eh, el, el mes y luego la fecha. Pero ya usted dio la, la explicación mayor. Thank you. También sucede que en el inglés británico lo dicen así. The, the first of June, the second of June, the third of June. Mm -hmm. But in American English, they say first the month and then the day. On May 9th. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you, Fernando, for your participation. Do we have another volunteer? Jacqueline. His name is Alan. He lives in Casaltepeque. His birthday is um, April 8th. He is 27 years old. He is a data analyst and quality answers your occupation. He is tall and very serious. His favorite is play video games. His favorite activity is playing video games. <laughs> Okay, Jacqueline, very good job. And can you show your drawing?
Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Rebecca's friend. <laughs> okay, interesting. Thank you. Do we have another one? Another one? One more? One more. One more? Just one. My teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, her, he name is the, this is my friend Angel. He live in uh, Lourdes, San Salvador. His birthday is uh, 23 November. And he's uh, 26 years old. He's uh, a controller. And his favorite food is pizza. That's all. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Alejandro. Do you have your picture? Your drawing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <Very good. laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. So, in this activity, you practice um, saying personal information. Also, you practice the use of possessive adjectives. For example, his name is. His is for he. Her is for she, for a woman or a girl. Also, the birthday, you the dates, prepositions of time. If you only mention the month, we use the preposition in, on, or at. In teacher. In. If it's only the month, in. Her birthday is in August. His birthday is in um, September. But if I say the month and the date, which preposition will I use? It's more specific. Preposition. If I say the month and the date, I use the preposition. In teacher. <laughs> Bye. Uso on. Okay. Ayer los vimos. Bye. Solo digo el. Si solo digo el mes. In, in September. In September. But if I say the month and the day. At on. On. Exactly. On. on September 1st, for example. On September 1st, okay? On. And we practice the simple present statement, okay? And we are going to review the simple present in, in this moment. Okay, the simple present is like this. This is the structure. Subject, verb, complement. Example. Can we write some examples? Subject verb complement. He learning. He, in simple present, he learns English at English Corporativo. He learns English at English Corporative. Okay, he learns English. 
we have subject, verb, complement. Another example, we can say, Braulio likes pupusas. Braulio likes eh, cheese pupusas. Okay? So we have the subject is Braulio. Uh -huh. In the yes. verb. Exactly. Likes. Likes. Complement. Another example. Yes, my cat sleeps in my room, for example. What is the subject? Cat. My, my cat. cat. And the complement? In my room. In my room. Okay, in this case, we have a simple present. We have affirmative. And we have to add the yes to the verb. He learns, Braulio likes, my cat sleeps. In first person, we don't add the yes. It's only in the third person. She or it. He, she or it, we add the yes. Agregamos la S cuando el sujeto es él, ella o es. Like in these cases, he learns English, Braulio likes pusas, my cat is maybe. But I don't have to have the S in other cases. For example, I have a lot of students. In my Carlos, I'm sorry. Okay, I have a lot of students in my classes. My example. I have another example could be Carlos and Alejandro uh, live in El Salvador. Right? In this case, it's third person, but plural. Carlos and Alejandro. So the verb doesn't have an S. Another example. We speak, we speak Spanish in We speak Spanish and English. Another example. Another example, for example, you watch, you watch movies at night. Okay, so we this is a simple present affirmative. Subject, verb, and complement. Okay? Do you have any questions about it? Is it clear? Yes. Thank you. In the next slide, in the next slide we have the rules for the third person singular. With most verbs, we add the S. Leave, leaves. Sit, sit. Stay, stays. Listen, listens. Write, writes. Use, uses. Love, loves. Like, likes. Okay? He, she, or it. If the verb ends in consonant plus Y, we change the Y to I and add ES. For example, try, tries. Carry, carries. Carries. Uh, study, studies. 
cry, cries, fry, fries. Now, if the verb ends in S, V, C, H, or S, we add ES. For example, Miss, Miss, Buzz, Buzzes, Catch, Catches, Fix, Fixes, Kiss, Kisses. Okay? And we have some sections. For example, with the verb go, and the verb do, we add ES. Go, go. Do, does. And another one is the verb have. It's not here, but it's also an exception. What is the third person form of have? Has. 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 For example, we say, has. Braulio has a baby. Is that true, Braulio? True teacher. Braulio, Braulio has a baby. The teacher has a cat. I don't have babies. My baby is a cat. That's my baby. Okay? Ready. That is the use of the verb has. Have and has. Okay, what about negative form? For the negative form, we use the auxiliary don't or does. I'm sorry, guys. Please participate. <laughs> teacher, teacher is sleepy. The teacher yeah. is sleepy, so you have to help me. <laughs> you have to participate. Yeah, <laughs> We have the negative form, don't in that sense. We have the subject, the auxiliary, which is the auxiliary we use in negative? Do. Don't. The don't. Doesn't. Doesn't. Then the verb in the base form in the complement. A ver, ¿quién me lee estas? ¿Quién me lee los ejemplos? Um, wait. Yes, it is. Dale, dale. Okay, Fernando. He doesn't eat chicken. He doesn't read the Bible. 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 Caleb doesn't Bible. The Caleb doesn't like big truth. Edwin doesn't like pineapple pizza. I don't like green beans. We don't speak Russian. Thank you, Fernando. So as you notice, for he, she, or it, we use doesn't. And the verb is in the base form. En este caso no agregamos la S. La S solo se agrega en afirmativo. ¿Ok? Solo en afirmativo. Negative and questions, no. Preguntas y oraciones negativas, el verbo no lleva la S. ¿Por qué? En tercera persona. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tenemos el... Dos. Y el el verbo auxiliar, exacto. Chicken, he has to read the Bible. We can say, for example, give me some examples. Alejandro doesn't like chicken. Mm. Yes. Just yeah. we can say, for example, uh, teacher, he he doesn't drink. Mm -hmm. uh, Coca Cola. He doesn't drink Coca Cola. <laughs> okay. Irma doesn't cook in the evening. I'm ah, just kidding. Irma doesn't cook. Um, Janet doesn't work in the evening. Janet Riva. Mm -hmm. Another example. Teacher, una pregunta. 
Teacher, what is the meaning of bed root? Bed root. Remolacha. Yes. Bit root. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, that is the negative form. Now the question form, yes, no questions in the simple present. Um, we have the auxiliary do or the auxiliary does for the third person. Subject, verb, and complement. We have the example here. Oi, oi, oi. Does Sylvia work at a call center? Yes, she does, or? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Does. No, she doesn't. Okay, pregunto con el das y voy a responder con el das también, con el auxiliar, ¿ok? Cuando es tercera persona, I use das. Luego los demás, pues do. Do you take a shower in the evening? Yes, mm, I, yes do. I do. Yes, I do. No, no I, I don't. No, oh, I don't. Exactly. Yes, I do or no, I don't. Well, we have here this exercise. Ay, ay, ay. In this exercise, you have to complete the sentences using simple present. Les voy a enviar el enlace. Les voy a enviar el enlace a este ejercicio en línea para que lo hagan en línea. Dado que no tenemos mucho, we don't have so much time in the class to do it together, but you can do it later. Lo pueden hacer después para que practiquen. Les voy a mostrar el ejercicio. Usted pulsa el enlace y lo va a llevar. Se los voy a enviar por WhatsApp también. ¿Okay? Okay, en este ejercicio, que van a practicar, van a completar según los verbos que están en paréntesis. Exactly. Very nice. Veo que alguien ya entró. No sé quién es esta persona porque dice un 5 de marzo. <ríe> ok, aquí. Number one is I get up. At the same, I get up. Yo lo pongo el verbo. Y en negativo, ¿cómo sería? Not get up. I, I, use, I use the auxiliary. I, I don't, don't get up. Get up. Exactly. I don't get up. Okay, number two. My father is third person. Tercera persona, Chase. third person, my Chase. father. Ah, entonces le pongo la S. Chase. My father shaves every day. With a gilet. Okay, number three, Margot. Negative. Don't. Doesn't. 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 Take a shower in the afternoon. That's it. Uh, number four. Water my, sister. my sister Rush. brushes her teeth every day. Brushes. Hey. Number five. My parents don't watch. watch. Don't watch. Exactly. Don't because it's plural, right? Don't watch TV in the evening. Yeah, and so on, you continue, you continue, you complete all the sentences. In the exercise B, you complete the questions, yes, no questions, and answers using simple present. For example, number one, ¿cómo se auxiliar sería? Does. Does. Do your mother. Do your mother. Does. 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 Do you mother. Does mother make it? Does your mother make breakfast? 
Okay, number two. Do you? Do you? Get up. Get up. Yes. Get up. Uh, get up. Get up. At 6 a.m. Get up at 6 a.m. No. No, 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 I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Ok, eso right. es lo que va a hacer usted luego en letter C. To draft the WH questions to complete the questions. And then write the answers using the Draft significa arrastrar. Mm. What time does mm -hmm. your mother get up? She... She get up. She gets. She get up. She, she gets, gets up at 5.30 a.m. Le tengo que poner la S porque es C. Ok, number two sería. What, what does she do? do? ¿Qué hace ella? What does she do? She. She works in teaching. She is a teacher. She is a teacher. She is a teacher. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Esas son information questions. Okay, and then you have to write answers to, you, to the question. Do you work? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does your mother work? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Etc. When you finish, you go here. Finish or terminado. Aquí seleccionan la opción check my answers o comprobar mis respuestas. Donde dice enviar mis respuestas al profesor, no, porque entonces tendrían que entrar a una cuenta. Solo van a hacer aquí comprobar mis respuestas o check my answers. Y les va a dar un, una nota. Como no lo terminamos, eh, no, no me la dio completa. Pero si usted la termina, todos los que están así, se ponen así, significa que están correctos. Cuando termine, le tomo una captura, una captura de pantalla o una foto, y lo puede subir al grupo, lo manda al grupo de WhatsApp, como evidencia de que hizo la tarea, hizo el ejercicio, practicó el simple press. Y ahora, we continue with the class. ¿Sí pueden ver mi pantalla? Sí. Yes. Yes, yes. Ok. Rapidito, antes que terminemos la clase, les voy a explicar sobre los comparative adjectives que está en la sección 3, que usted debe terminar hoy. ¿Verdad? Y hacer también el midterm. Hacer el examen, el midterm, la evaluación. Vale, entonces en los comparativos lo usamos para comparar dos cosas. Solo dos cosas. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos dos. Estoy yo y mi hermana. Vamos a ver qué opciones tenemos. Ay, sorry. Ay, en este no me da las opciones, perdón. Pero bueno, vamos a hacer algunos ejemplos. Les voy a escribir algunos ejemplos acá. For example, we can compare two, two countries. El Salvador. El Salvador y United States. ¿Qué, ¿Cómo podríamos comparar El Salvador en la United States? Es mola. Exactly, El Salvador is smaller than United States. Another example, English and mathematics. English and math. English is easier than, than math, right? 
Inglés es más fácil que matemáticas. English is easier than math. Yes. <laughs> Another example. Coca-Cola is... Better than. Okay. Is better than salvacola. Yeah. <laughs> Esa fue publicidad, ya. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's just an example. Coca-Cola is more dangerous for your health. <laughs> okay. Another example. Yes. Pupusas are cheaper than pizza. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Pupusas yes. are cheaper than pizza. And more examples. Add. What it, what it is? Better that water Coca -Cola. better than soda. <laughs> better than so, soda. So <laughs> another really. example we can say Shakira. Shakira is more famous. More famous than, than Clara. <laughs> <laughs> but now she's famous too. <laughs> but Bunny, but Bunny. <laughs> okay, so this is um just examples. Because that is a controversial topic. <laughs> okay, so what is the rule for comparative adjectives? The it's very easy. We just add er. Solo agregamos er. Tall. Taller than. Small, smaller than. Cuando termina en Y, le quitamos la Y, le ponemos I y agregamos ER. Lazy, lazier than. Happy, happier than. And uh, short uh, adjectives like consonant, vowel consonant, we double the last consonant. Fat, fatter than. Big, bigger than. Fat. Father, ¿no? Suena como father. Fat. Father. Father. No father. 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 Rare. Rare. Father. All dad. right. Okay. Two or more syllables or long adjectives. We add more. More beautiful than. More dangerous than. And we have some irregular forms like good, better than. Better than in words. Okay. Les di eso así rapidito porque está en la sección 3 y es para que lo puedan hacer. No sé si hay alguna otra pregunta con respecto a las, eh, la plataforma o el tema de hoy. Vaya, saquen las preguntas por So far, so good. So far, so good. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I will try to send you this information in your WhatsApp so you can review the information, you can study, and you can practice with the exercise. Okay? No olviden mandarme el ejercicio cuando puedan. Eso pueden tener el fin de semana para hacerlo. Pero sí me interesa que trabajen en la plataforma y completen hasta la sección 3 en midterm. Si usted ya llegó a la 4 o a la 5, great for you, good for you, excellent. Okay. Ustedes sigan adelante. Eh, quizás por el tiempo, una hora es muy corta, no, no hemos llegado yeah. a exactamente a todos los temas pero si sí los vamos a cubrir igual cualquier pregunta pueden hacer ok ok thank you well thank you. sorry
Okay. <laughs> the last questions for this class. You know the last question? Teacher, my question no, no is uh, de la clase. Eh, sino que acerca de la lista porque yo ingresé tarde un poquito tarde y, y quisiera saber si va a volver a pasar lista yes I will just tell me what did you learn in this class what is one example what activity did you like anyone What did you learn today? ¿Qué aprendió hoy? The simple present. Okay, simple present, yes. And the, Negative and in the present question. Okay, just no questions. Simple present affirmative and negative. Position. <laughs> In comparative adjectives. Okay, Lisa, I know you're sleepy. I My know you're friends. tired. So let's uh, take the attendance quickly. Alejandro Cartagena. Present teacher. Ana Elisa Garcia. Present. Present. Andrea Sanchez. Andrea Sanchez. Present. Betania Lopez. Present teacher, today I have problems to connect me early, but I'm here okay. only for minutes. Braulio Velasquez. Present teacher. Carlos Martinez. Present teacher. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Claudia Yesenia. Christopher Raúl Peña. Damaris Isabel Castellanos. Present teacher. Thank you, Damaris. Denis Eliseo Gutierrez. Present teacher. Doribel Arelia Riaza. Precious. Present teacher. Eli Antonio Sandoval. Present. Emmanuel Portales. Present. Thank you, Manuel. Eneida Verónica Ramírez de Hernández. Present teacher. Eric Daniel Herrera Sosa. Present teacher. Fernando Arturo Mendoza. Creo que no vino, ¿verdad? I'm here, teacher. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Irma Adriana Segura. Irma. Presente, teacher. Irma Adriana. Irma Zulaina. Present teacher. Present teacher. Janet Rosibe. Present teacher. Jennifer Marisol. Present teacher. Jessica Susana. Jimmy Ramos. Okay, people, thank you so much for being in this class this evening. Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. See you Monday. Good night. 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 Bye. Bye.